Forming expressions and equations. The first thing we need to look at before looking at form and expression equation, we need to look at what is the difference between an expression and an equation. Well, this top one is an expression. And you'll notice that it doesn't contain an equal sign like the equation. So when we've got an equation, it's where we take an expression and we set it equal to something. So in this case, we took our 3x plus 2, our expression, and we made it equal to 11 to turn it into an equation. Now, when we're looking at form and expressions, it's quite normal that in an exam, you'll probably have the first part is form and expression, and it probably says, now form an equation when you're given one extra, extra piece of information. And we'll look at an example later on in this video. Now, let's just look at some easy examples of forming expressions. So if we say my age is X, how old will I be in three years' time? So we've got my current age, which is X, and the word three more years, or how, how old will I be in three years' time, means we're adding on three extra years. So we've got our, my current age of X, and we're adding on three. If my age is X, how old was I seven years ago? So my age is X, seven years ago. So seven years ago means we're taking away. So it's X minus seven. If my age is X, how old will I be when I'm twice my age? So we've got my age X, we're twice my age. Well, what does that mean? Twice means doubling, making it twice as big. So, it's my age times by 2. But remember, we don't need to put in this time sign. So, we actually write this as 2x. So, it's twice my age, 2 times my age. If my age is x, how old was I? A quarter of my age. So, a quarter of my age. That means my age was a quarter of the size that it is now. So, it's 4 times smaller. What do we mean when we tie it? Make it four times smaller. Or when we quarter something, it means we divide by four. So we've got my current age, x, and we're dividing it by four. So those are four simple little expressions that look at different words to do with um, form and expression. So for adding, add is another word for saying sum or more than or greater. So, now let's take them skills and try and apply it to a more exam style question. Where the first part of the question will be told to form an expression, and the second part will be told to use that information to form an equation to help us find out a certain length of time for a phone call in this question. So it says a phone call costs 7p a minute plus a fixed 15p charge for every call. Form an expression for a call of m minutes long. So, each minute costs 7p. So, one minute would cost 7p, two minutes, 14p, three minutes, 21p, four minutes, 28p. But we don't know how many minutes it is. We're just told it's m minutes. So, we've got our 7p per minute. And we don't know how many minutes we're doing it for, so we're going to times that by M, because that's the number of minutes that we're going to be using our phone, phone call for. So if it was 4 minutes, it would be 7 times 4 for 28. But we're also told that not only does it cost 7p per minute, you've also got an extra charge of 15p, which is a fixed charge, which means it's going to be added on. So we've got our 7M, and we've got to add on an extra 15p. Now that is an expression for for the cost of a call that, cost, that lasts m minutes long. Now what we're told in the second part is how long must a phone call la have lasted for it to cost 99p? So our expression we've just found, we now know it's going to cost us 99p. So we're going to turn our expression into an equation by setting it equal to 99p because that's how much it's going to cost. Now we can work backwards to find out how many minutes this call must be. So remember, when we're solving equations, we're aiming to get 
the letters on one side and all the numbers collected on the other. So we've got, we're going to leave this 7M where it is. We need to do something with plus 15. And what we do is do the inverse function, which is to subtract 15 from both sides. So we're going to be left with, on the left-hand side, 7M. 15 minus 15 is 0. 99 minus 15 is 84. Next thing, we've got 7 times m equals 84. Well, what's the inverse or the opposite to times in by 7? It's dividing by 7. So we're going to divide both sides by 7, which leaves us with 1m is equal to 84 divided by 7, which is 12. So a call of length 12 minutes would cost 99p. So what we did was we formed an expression in the first part, and then used it to make it into an equation in the second part. That is quite typical for an exam style question.